हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो वाइन इज अ काइंड ऑफ अनडिस्टिल्ड एल्कोहलिक बिवरेज विच इज मेनली प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द फ्रूट जूसेज जनरली फ्रॉम द ग्रेप्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रिपेशन ऑफ वाइन इज नोन एज विनिफिकेशन एंड वाइल द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस दैट डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ वाइन इज नोन एज एनोलॉजी this grape juice it generally contain 27% sugar content so this grape juice is fermented by the various strain of yeast or you can say the saccharomyces cerevisiae and the wine generally contain 3 to 22% of alcoholic content now discuss the production of the wine so the wine is the product of grape which are obtained after the alcoholic fermentation by yeast technically you can say it is a transformation of sugars of grapes by the yeast under anaerobic means in the absence of oxygen so under anaerobic conditions into carbon dioxide ethanol and some by products the steps involves are harvesting of fruits crushing and extraction primary fermentation pressing heat and cold sterilization secondary fermentation blending and fining and finally the preservation and packaging so let's discuss these steps first is the harvesting of fruits means the process or you can say the production process of wine starts from the harvesting of the fruits means you just pick up the fruits or you just you can say you just make the fruits available to you generally grapes are used for the wine production because they contain 5 to 25% total soluble sugar so they have contain high level of fermentable sugar that's why they are the you can say they are the great substrate for the wine production next step is crushing and extraction so in the next step these fruits they are crushed and extracted mechanically so this process is ultimately release the juice of these grapes and sometimes pigment pigment is also there so that whole mass is known as must but if you are going for the white wine preparation then the skin of grape should be removed because in white wine we do not want the pigments that's why the skin is removed the harvested fruits they are de steamed for the white wine preparation which is not required for the red wine preparation in case of red wine the steam gives the vegetable aroma due to the presence of 2 methoxy 3 isopropyl pyrazine compound next step is the primary fermentation means the must or you can say the juice which we get after the crushing of fruits it is now inoculated with 2 to 10% of yeast inoculum or saccharomyces cerevisiae and the fermentation is carried out under the optimum temperature and other conditions like in case of red wine preparation the temperature should be 22 to 27 degree centigrade and it generally takes place for 3 to 5 days while in case of white wine preparation the temperature should be 10 to 21 degree centigrade and generally the fermentation carried out for 7 to 14 days during the fermentation process the whole content is generally mixed twice a day by punching the floating skin for the proper aeration also the fermentation allow the rapid multiplication of yeast as well as the sugar ferment as well as that yeast multiply so it convert the sugar or you can say it ferment the sugar into ethanol next is the pressing step so in this case or you can say in this step the skin of the must is taken out and pressed in order to release the juice and alcohol and the liquid is again transferred into the fermentation tank in case of white wine pressing is carried out before the fermentation and or you can say before the first fermentation or primary fermentation during pressing the color of fruit and the berries it extracted next step is heat and cold sterilization the main aim of this step is just to remove the tartrate crystals which are also known as white dimers or white crystals in cold sterilization method the fermented must it is cooled to nearly freezing point and keep for the 1 to 2 weeks during this period the crystal they get separated from the wall of fermenter and the clear liquid is collected on the secondary fermenter tank in the heat stabilization technique it is generally heated in between 50 to 60 degree for about an hour and kept over overnight and this for the after that step the protein they get powdered off so this heat and cold sterilization is generally carried out after the primary fermentation next is the secondary fermentation so it is carried out in the stainless steel 
or sometimes concrete tank lined with the plastic. The stabilized and sterilized wine is now kept at 15 to 20 degrees centigrade for 3 to 6 months under the strict anaerobic condition means there should not be any trace of oxygen. Usually in case of sweet wine and the fermentation is terminated when the sugar content is reduced to 4 to 6 percent means when the sugar content is reduced to 4 to 6 percent then the fermentation is terminated or you can say stopped. During this secondary fermentation the aroma of the wine is developed and why it is developed so it is developed due to the reaction among the acids like malic acid, citric acid, sugars, alcoholic and phenolic compounds. The main compounds which are responsible for the aroma are methoxyparazine, monotropines and esters they are the principal one which are responsible for the aroma of wine. Finally the blending and fining so in this process the good quality of wine give its special taste and aroma in the blending process the spices or extracts of aromatic plants or essential oils or fruit juices they are added in appropriate proportion for the aroma or you can say the flavor and in the fining process the tanning and microscopic particle they are removed in order to make the wine very much clear for this purpose the wine is treated with gelatin potassium caseinate, egg albumin or lysozymes, sometimes skim milk is also used or it can be filtered through the membrane filter or diatomaceous earth. Finally, the wine is clarified in order to remove the pectin which is achieved by the use of enzyme pectinases. Next is the preservation and packaging means when the wine has been produced now it is pasteurized to kill the microorganism and sometimes the potassium metabisulfates are also used for the preservation. So in this step the microorganisms they just you can say wiped out or you just kill the sugar utilizing microorganisms and finally the it is packed into the bottles and which is uh, you can say the bottle is corked and used, which is made of the oak and finally the outside cork is sealed and it can it is ready to ship in the market so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much